Hey guys, Step Games here, and today we are going to be continuing our tutorial. Now, where we left off was this, opening and closing the door. And today we want to remake this into an animation. So we're going to open this door, and I'm just going to delete this, because it is stupid. So, first of all, we want to go to our door and check if it is movable. Um, it is, so um, we can now begin to animate the door, okay? So I'm going to delete all of these. We don't need those. <coughs> and I'm going to add what's called a timeline, okay? <coughs> Sorry. Um, now this is going to open door. Timeline. Uh, this, what this is going to do, is to smoothly transition from 0 to 1. So, um, what we want to do is do a flip-flop. Now, flip-flop, every time it is called, is going A, B, A, B, A, B, right? It switches between A and B. So, the first time we open the door, we want to open it. And the second time, we want to... We click on the door, we want to close it, so we want to reverse. Okay, so what we want to do now is double click, double click open door timeline. Now this will open up uh, a timeline menu, right? So over here we want to add a float track. And I'm going to call this L alpha. Compile and save. Um, now alpha it's called because this is this like shows how um, how much the door is open right so now you have to choose how long do you want the door to open i uh, i oh sorry i want i would say i want it to open for like half a second right um so right click add key and right click add key select the one key and set the time to zero and the value to zero set the second get the second key <coughs> set the value to one time to one no uh the time to 0 0.5 now as you can see this is going to slowly transition between zero and one now we if we want to make it smooth we can select both right click and use auto interpolation so, we've just created a timeline which slowly transitions from 0 to 1. Now we're going to back to event graph and closing this down. Now we have our alpha right here and update. So, what we want to do now is drag out of alpha and do lerp and vector. This means, it, uh, depending on the alpha, this will slowly transition from A to B. Now, from update, we want to drag out of door, set uh, relative ro location from update, and the new location is going to be this return value. So, <coughs> when we open the door, once it's going to play and slowly go from 0 to 1, which means it's going to slowly transition from A to B and set that value to the door. This means it's going to just update, close, and open the door. Uh, open and... Yeah, open and close the door. So the first thing I want to do is open the door. I'm going to move this up. And I'm going to assume this is Z. Z200, okay? So I'm going to set Z to 200. Now... Uh, Zero is going to close it off. Uh, yeah, so uh, I want to leave this at zero. Now, if we compile and save, this should actually just work fine. So let's try it out. Yes, it works. Now I'm going to uh, like put this more above, but it works. Can walk through, can close the door, and we can't walk through. Nice. 
so these are the doors guys so i hope you enjoyed and in the next part uh, we will be making a basic office so see you in the next video bye